Occupy Los Angeles! My name is Mark Lippman. I'm like everyone else here, just doing, doing what needs to be done. Emily Francis, originally from Nashville, to, uh, Tennessee, and I am here to speak for the people. The 99% versus the 1%. So much is wrong with the system, and we're coming here to make things right. We're just so fed up with being stepped on that something has to change, and people around the world are waking up and saying it's time to do it. it it's the times. The times make, uh, make the movement. We're taking the initiative and going out and saying, no, there is going to be a change, and we're going to stay here until there is the number one thing that we have for us is the right to hold our government responsible for what it's doing wrong. Look at what, what happened back in 2008. The banks got $1.6 trillion to pay off all of these bad loans that they instigated. They're privatizing our schools, making education for profit, so that only if you have the money can you get an education. You know, they want to privatize our Social Security so that our, our benefits that we paid into for our entire lives become like casino chips. We understand that something's wrong and we have to change it because if we don't today, then 20 years from now, we're not going to have anything left. So many people are just living in abject poverty. Over 6 million homeless people in the United States alone, and those are just the official numbers, where we have 19 million empty housing units. Uh, four months this summer, I was homeless, a traveler, a hitchhiker, and I realized what it's like to be at the bottom of society. I come from an upper middle class society, but I chose to do this because I wanted to know what they experienced, and I wanted to know what it was like to be poor and oppressed. And people are poor and oppressed that are homeless. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Corporate greed has got to go. Stop trusting corporations that don't give a shit about us. They don't care. We are margins to them. We are profit margins. They don't care about people. We need to start caring about each other and caring about people. We are human beings. We're not socialists. We're not capitalists. We're not liberals. We're not yeah. Yeah. We are human beings. Yeah. And we want to see justice. Every single one of us are the movement. It's you, it's me, it's all of us. The city council has just come out to support us. Let your voice be heard. Let, Let your voice be heard. heard. Let your faces be seen. And Let your faces be seen. And continue to stand up for the 99% who aren't seen. And continue to stand up for the 99% who aren't seen. The police are saying, we're not going to harass you, we're going to let you do it because what you're doing is right. Individual officers come up to us and say, we agree with you. Occupy Los Angeles! Occupy Wall Street! Occupy Los Angeles! If more people could come out, I think they would. I think people, a lot of people want to support the movement, but they literally can't come out because they've been trapped in a cycle and they have to take care of their family, they have to feed their children, they have to go to work. We come and go as we need, but we come back. And there's always someone here, that's the point. And if you can't be here, find a way to let your friends know. Anything you can do, anything you can get involved, your participation is vital because you're a part of this. We represent 99% of the population and we're going to be here until we're 100%. I mean, what else are you going to do? Like, be on Facebook or play video games? Like, really, this is a time in human history. Throughout, you know, I just talked to some old hippie that walked by and was like, oh, this isn't the 1960s. It's like, yeah, it's not the 1960s. It's 2011. We have to wake up. Los Angeles! Occupy Wall Street! Occupy Los Angeles!